Hello everyone, now let us discuss about CPT coding guidelines for radiology. In that, diagnostic radiology, specifically transcatheteral procedures and other procedures. Now, coming to transcatheteral procedures. The Therapeutic Transcatheteral Radiological Supervision and Interpretation Code. Therapeutic Transcatheteral Radiological Supervision and Interpretation Codes include the following services that are associated with intervention procedure. Contrast injections, angiography or venography, road mapping and or, or fluoroscopic guidance for the interventions, vessel measurement and completion angiography or venography except for those uses permitted by 75898. That is nothing but follow-up angiography. Unless specifically included in the code descriptor, diagnostic angiography and venography or venography performed at the time of transcatheteral therapeutic radiological and interpretation services is separately reportable provided no prior catheter based angiography or venography is available. Even though the study is available, prior diagnostic study is inadequate. And if the patient's condition with respect to clinical indication has changed since the prior study or during the intervention. In all these cases, diagnostic angiography and venography is separately reportable along with transcatheteral therapeutic radiological and interpretation services unless it is not included in the code descriptor. If it is included in the code descriptor, there is no need to code diagnostic angiography and venography.
The next code is 75984. Change of percutaneous tube or drainage catheter with contrast monitoring. For example, Genshu urinary system or for assessment of abscess, radiological supervision and interpretation. The next code is 75989. Radiological guidance, fluoroscopy, ultrasound or CT for percutaneous drainage. Example, abscess specimen collection with the placement of catheter, radiological supervision and interpretation. Now let us discuss an example. A patient with known right, right facial arteriovenous malformation, AVM, complete diagnostic angiography was performed yesterday. The right external carotid artery is selected followed by internal maxillary artery, inferior alveolar artery, the facial artery and two branches of lingual artery. Each of these are embolized with particles and glue. Follow-up angiography shows decreased vascularization of AVM. So what are the appropriate CPTs for this particular scenario? The first is, first we need to look for which artery is selected. The right external carotid artery is selected. External carotid artery is a third order artery. In the next slide, we will discuss the order of external carotid artery. Then you will understand better. So this is a third order carotid artery. Hence, first the code is 36217. Initial third order or more selective thoracic or branchiocephalic branch within a vascular family. Additionally, you need to give 36218, which is nothing but additional second order, third order and beyond thoracic and branchiocephalic branch. Here we are giving three units for that. Why we are giving? We'll discuss in the next slide. The next is 61626. That is nothing but head and neck embolization CPT. Now next is 75894, which is nothing but transcathetral therapy. Catheteral therapy is used for embolization. Here you can see each of these arteries are embolized. So 75894, transcathetral therapy, embolization, any method, radiological supervision and interpretation. And next, follow up angiography. The next code is 75898. Angiography through existing catheter for follow-up study for transcathetral therapy, embolization or infusion other than for thrombolysis. So hence, external carotid artery is a third order artery. You give 36217 for initial third order embolization. Next is 36218. Why 3 are given? If you see external, the branches of external carotid artery are internal maxillary artery, facial artery and lingual artery. So this is fourth order. And beyond. So each additional artery. For each additional artery you need to report one code. 36218. Now let us see, if you see this arch of iota, arch of iota, the branches of arch of iota are brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid artery and left subclavian artery. So branch of brachiocephalic trunk is first order, left common carotid artery is also first order and left subclavian artery is also first order. Next, the brachiocephalic trunk is divided into right subclavian artery and right common carotid artery. Right subclavian artery and right common carotid artery are second order arteries. And this right common carotid artery is again divided into right internal carotid and right external carotid. So right internal carotid and right external carotid are third order arteries. In our previous example, the artery selected was right external carotid artery. It is a third order. So, 36217 is given for initial third order or beyond. And additionally, 36218 are given three times. That is for additional second order or third order and beyond. Thoracic or brachiocephalic trunk. 
So for maxillary artery, lingual artery and facial artery are selected for embolizations. So these are three additional arteries that are selected for embolization. So you have given three codes. Now coming to other procedures. The first EPT is 7600. Fluoroscopy up to one hour, physician or other qualified healthcare professional time. The next is 76010. Radiological examination from nose to rectum for foreign body, single view, child. The next is 76080. Radiological examination, abscess, fistula or sinus tract study, radiological supervision and interpretation. The next is 76098. Radiological examination, surgical specimen. The next is 76100. Radiological examination, single plane body section other than with urography. The next is 76120. Cinera diography or videography except with where specifically included. The next is 76125 which is an add-on add code. 76125. Cinero diography or videography to complement routine exam. The next code is 76140. Consultation on X-ray examination made elsewhere. Written report. Next is 76145. Medical physics dose evaluation for radiology exposure that exceeds, that exceeds institutional review threshold, including report. The next is 76376. 3D rendering with interpretation and reporting of CT, MRI, ultrasound or other tomographic modality with image post-processing under concurrent supervision, not requiring image post-processing on an independent workstation. The next code is 76377. 3D rendering with interpretation and reporting of CT, MRI, ultrasound or other tomographic modality with Image post-processing under concurrent supervision requiring image post-processing on an independent workstation. The next is 76380. CT limited or localized follow-up study. 76830 is CT limited or localized follow-up study. The next is 76390 MRI spectroscopy. The next is 76391, M magnetic resonance, example, vibration, elastography. 76391 is magnetic resonance, elastography. The next is 76496, unlisted fluoroscopic procedure, for example, diagnostic or interventional. The next is 76497, unlisted CT procedure. Next is 76498, unlisted MR magnetic resonance procedure. The next is 76499, unlisted diagnostic radiologic procedure. Now let us discuss an example. A parent brings her child to ED. She thinks she swallowed a small toy. The radiological exam from nose to rectum is performed. Foreign body is not, not located. What CPT is reported for radiological services? The appropriate CPT is 76010, which is nothing but radiological examination from nose to rectum for foreign body single view child. By this, we complete the transcatheteral procedures and other procedures of diagnostic radiology. Regarding the transcatheteral procedures, we have discussed briefly here. Please try to understand the example. If you are not understanding, we will be discussing in detail about that endovascular procedures and transcatheteral procedures when we discuss about cardiovascular system. Hope all of you understood the examples and the session. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.